a memory I can never forget. James Pickle and I were co-chairs of the 1995 Art Festival. And the Wednesday before the festival was to open, we had the bombing in Oklahoma City. So everybody was just in a state of shock, trying to figure out what to do, sh shutting the festival down. Of course, we had no funding for a year, but yet we realized there was no other choice. So we did that. But I must say, this city has the most wonderful volunteers, and the Arts Council staff, as always, was outstanding through all this. But the festival artists, we didn't really know quite what to do and soon enough, so the artists had come in to town. So all these artists were here, and we had to go out and tell them on Monday morning that the festival was not going to happen. And they were, James Pickle just did a great job of talking to them, and they were all such true champions. Some of them even gave us money. And, they, and we told them they could come back the next year. And our volunteers rallied around, the community rallied around, and we had people from all over the country give money to the Arts Council of Oklahoma City. I made a talk on NPR, and someone from Milwaukee sent $10,000. I mean, it's, it just makes you feel so proud. And then the next year, Pickle and I did it again. We, we joke and say, we, we don't wish to slow, we had to do it two years to get it right, but that, hopefully that's not true. But anyway, everybody we called was delighted to do it again. And I must say, if that spirit continues to live with the Arts Festival. It's my favorite week of the year. I love to come down here and see all my friends. I have five kids, they all volunteer, spouses, grandkids. And the year I was chair, there was a sign in headquarters that says, clean up your mess, your mom doesn't work here. And one of my sons came and said, oh yes, she does. <laughs> so all the kids signed and Pickle signed too, she's one of my kids. But I just want to say, Arts Festival is just a happening place and I'm so delighted to be part of it. Thank you so much.